Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the Online Piano and the Online Violin Cheater. Today I thought I would do a review and demonstration of my newest and latest piece of equipment that I've got and this is the Mackie Free Play Personal PA System. So I recently purchased this the last couple of months from Sweetwater in the US. It was purchased for $399 and I just want to give a quick shout out to Jason Coons who has just been most helpful with any of the questions that I've, I've been having. I just had some fabulous customer service so thank you very much to them. So it was purchased for $399 which I think is a good price for this. It's pretty much got everything you need or any everything that I need. So what I was going to do was just take you around, quickly show you the features and everything as, and what it's got, why I like it, why it's suited to me. And then what I was going to do was just take you outside where I've got a bit more room and set up everything how I would normally set myself up with all the equipment that I've got. So I bought this because I do a lot of performance at weddings, um, at events, at gala dinners, balls, that kind of thing. And I like to go self-sufficient, which means I take all my equipment with me because you never know what you're gonna have and what you're not gonna have. So I wanted something that was much lighter than the equipment that I was using before. Um, what I love about this is that it is pretty much 100%, yeah, it pretty much is 100% wireless. This is a 300 watt PA with 150 watt RMS and the 300 is your peak level. The weight of this is really good. It says it's 11 pounds and you've got a nice handle that you can pick up here, which is great for me because I just don't have any wires to plug in. I can just literally pop this in a box with my violin on my back and off I go. It works with eight D cell batteries or a lithium battery obviously you have an AC charger uh, AC plug charger as well which I have at the moment because I don't have the lithium battery so it's on back order from Sweetwater but it comes with a lithium battery with 10 hours of playtime supposedly um, I'm yet to try that out but all I need is really about two hours worth of playtime with my violin and some backing tracks and I'm kind of good to go so on the front here you've got two stereo compression drivers with an eight inch subwoofer in the front. So turning this around you've got two combo jacks which are quarter inch jack or for instrument cable um, or XLR. Uh, you've got an aux in here which you can put your phone in or your iPod or something like that. But the good thing is is that that's Bluetooth so you don't necessarily need a wire for that. Um, you've got four channels here, channel one, um, if you press channel one, or you've got two, because you've got two inputs, you've got channel one, and this is your volume level for channel one, which you can see moving up here. Channel two is the same thing as well. And then you've got main. So if you click on the main, you can adjust the volume of the main unit overall. And this button here, which is the Bluetooth, syncs the Bluetooth to your device. I use an iPad, you can use an iPod, anything like that. You've got inbuilt FX that you can use, reverb, delay, reverb and delay, that kind of thing. You've got a feedback destroyer and you've got some EQ. All of these are actually linked wirelessly on the app with the iPod. So once you download the app on your iPad or your iPhone, it also works on Android system as well. All you need to do is just make sure you've got the Bluetooth switched on on your device. And then I just press and hold that, it'll sort of flash and then it should sync. It should take a few seconds just to sync with this. Once you click on the app and you open it up, you come to this screen. So, I mean, it's it's so it's very, very straightforward. If I can use any of this equipment, anyone can use this equipment, but it's very, very straightforward. So you've got channel one here, you've just got your faders that you move up and down here. The channel one, I would just have uh, my violin on and that's, that's it. I mean, this is just for me. So I just have my violin on channel one. I don't have anything on channel two because I don't need a microphone. I don't have any other instruments. So that's pretty much no good. For me, it would be fine if I was playing with someone else, for example, or a singer, something like that. But just for me, I need just one channel. Aux will control the level of your backing tracks from the iPod that I use here. And then you've got your the amount of reverb you've got here. And then obviously the main, the fader for the main unit. If you want to, you can mute any of these channels as well, which is quite a nice little feature, especially if you're you're taking cables in and out. It's, it's nice just, just to mute them, which is easier than moving all the faders. If you go into this bottom, these bottom bits here, it takes you into another screen, which you can then have as much or as little reverb sending as you want to each individual track. And then you can set your EQ to however you wanna set it for you. Just need some playing about with, press that button again, and it all comes back to the main screen. The same with the reverb. The reverb is quite interesting. If you click on the reverb, it's already got preset reverbs for you. So warm theater, small stage, warm hall, concert hall, etc. 
you know, you, you kind of play around with that. So that's pretty much just a simple overview on that. There's nothing terribly complicated, which is another reason why I really like it. What I'm gonna do is just take you outside just because I've got more room to set up and I will show you how I set everything up so you can see it all in action and how I use it. And I'll just give you, um, I'll just play you out with a quick demonstration of a song. And when I said I would take you outside, I completely lied. Sorry, it was due to the weather, I couldn't do that. But instead I thought I would take you on a real live gig. You can see that I'm set up there with my music stand, iPad and Mackie free play on the floor. And I'm just taking you for a quick spin of the room as well. I thought I would do a voiceover because there were some few glasses clanging. There was a sound check with a band going on behind me and some hoovering and other random things going on. So there was 300 people invited to this event that turned up in the end. And this is what the room looked like. What I'm going to do now is just take you through what I like to do to set up. So first of all I go onto iTunes, select the playlist that I'm going to be playing for the evening. That evening was actually a James Bond themed event, although there aren't those aren't James Bond songs, but nevertheless. Then what I will do is just sync the Bluetooth on my Mackie Free Play, so just press and hold the button until it flashes, then let go, and then go into settings, make sure you have your Bluetooth actually on, press the connect, the two connects, it only takes a second, and then what I do next is go into the, the Free Play app, the Mackie Free Play app, and you'll see that it says mix, you click on that, Boom, everything comes up. And what you'll see now is a short demonstration of me playing a couple of pieces that I did live on the evening. Please bear in mind there were lots of people in the room, but it, this is a review, isn't it? So it does give you an idea of how of how the, the sound cuts through, and I think it does a pretty good job. Yeah. 